Okay, uh, I'm about to paint the yellow part yellow, but I thought it would be a cool idea to give it another layer of color and blend in another, uh, maybe another tone in it. So I thought of using orange. I'm going to paint orange first. So once it dries, I will do a yellow tone in the back, end. Uh, like over it. We're going to apply the yellow or the orange first on this. That is nice and smooth. Check that out. Mm, this one right here. I'm gonna paint the whole part because I've been painting just the areas that are exposed, but I'm gonna do the whole part. part right here. Just a little blast to get good coverage. There we go. So it's a, a tad wet, but I can you could dry in a few moments. I want to make sure it's nice and consistent and not and not too faded. So I'm going to paint all these orange, and then I'm going to paint yellow in a few, once it dries. Now that the orange is dry, I'm going to use yellow. And I don't know how this will work, but if I mess up, I'll just do it again. Here we go. I'm going to do this light coating of the yellow. I'm just going to show this yellow is coming out good. Yeah. It's coming out a little wet, but I just want to do a little bit here and there. I think that looks good. 
hard to tell. I mean, you know what? I don't have this light on closer. Sorry. Let me do this here. It'd be a lot easier to do it this way. burnish red, uh, orange and yellow t tinge to it. That looks good. And to show off a comparison, here's the orange and here it is the, ye the slightly, you know, yellowish red, uh, orange type thing. Oh, okay. That came out good. Let me do the rest and then we'll, we'll see how it comes out. We'll review this later on. So let me just continue on, okay? Now then, it's time to print, paint the inner frame of the Barbatos using Mist, uh, Gundam Colors Titans Blue 1, one of my favorite paints. Now, I actually bought two more bottles of Titans Blue be 1 because what I thought when I had in the other bottle, I only had like about a few drops. But what I did was I did put a little bit more thinner in there and it did loosen it up, so I purchased the bottles of Titan Blue One uh, prematurely. Whoops! But it—at uh, least I have it because I've always did love this paint. This is a great paint. I'm going to use it on pretty much all the charcoal parts, both the brown and, and the non-so brown parts. Um, but I want to do layers to see how it comes out, even though I don't know it will show through on the kit or on the parts themselves. So, it's asking to be primed. Let's get in a nice light there. I'm not going to paint the gold, please. Give me a break. Uh, but first I'm going to do the back, because that's where uh, I have all these parts covered up. begin here. Now I did put um, what I thinned up, put it in this bottle, so I have an ample amount, so I have a portion here. I'm going to give a good coverage here, so I grab everything. And then once everything is all covered, I will precisionly see what I miss. I'll take the legs and arms apart, and then inspect them, and then redo it again and again. If I have to. Uh, that brings me to an interesting question. What is everyone's favorite paint to use when painting inner frames? You know? I've always um, switched from one, inner, one color to another. I've seen people do different types of versions of inner frames. I remember when I first started painting the inner frame, I started using uh, chrome and then gunmetal. Uh, uh, from uh, from Tamiya, which was a uh, you know acrylic paint. Then when I started getting into lacquers, 
I switch, I still use the um, gunmetal as my preferred choice. Then I always shift it over to grays, dark grays, light grays. Then I went back to gunmetal, but I used another brand, AK. I was using gunmetal from um, L Clad 2 for a long time. But I was always kind of mad at it because every time you look at it, it was purple in one aspect, and then you, when you shake it up and, and you give it a good mix, it'll look a little darker metallic version of the gunmetal. AK had a dark, lighter version in a way. Kind of hard to describe it, but it was actually one of my. It was a good. It's a good bottle. A good paint. Just um. Just uh, I think uh, there was an issue with masking and painting another layer because it, it had a weird reaction to tape. Masking tape, that is. Used up all the what was in the reservoir. But this color I am I am liking. It's been lately my go-to for a lot for a lot of uh, things, a lot of dark parts. Keep that there. Do a little mixture again. Test spray, okay, good. Cover up. We'll go here. Yeah, I know this parts are going to be covered, but I might as well make sure it's nice and painted properly. go. Now, I'm going to leave that alone for now. I'll get back to it in a minute, but I'm going to do the other parts as well that I have here. And then we'll continue on with this kit. <laughs> 